What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to get all currently available Discord badges, starting with the Hype Squad badges. Discord's Hype Squad is a vibrant community event that allows users to represent one of three Hype Squad houses, Bravery, Brilliance and Balance. To join, you first need to access your user settings in Discord. Once there, scroll down to find the Hype Squad section. Here, you'll find an option to join Hype Squad. Upon clicking on this, you'll be prompted to take a short quiz. This quiz determines which Hype Squad house suits you best. If you're looking to join a specific house, you can find the quiz answers online to guide your selections. However, selecting answers randomly can also be a fun way to discover which house you naturally align with. Not happy with your first result? No problem. You can retake the quiz at any time to try for a different house. Each Hype Squad badge is visually distinct featuring unique color gradients and designs that reflect the spirit of each house. Additionally, these badges have seen several variations linked to specific Discord events. For example, the 2019 Discord Pride event introduced rainbow gradient badges, the 2018 Snow's Giving event featured golden badges, and the 2019 King of the Hat event added a special crown design to badges. Historically, Joining the Hype Squad offered perks such as a free month of Discord Nitro. However, such giveaways are less frequent nowadays. So while it's unlikely to receive free Nitro upon joining, being a part of the Hype Squad still offers a fun way to engage with the community and show off your Discord spirit. Moving on to the next type of Discord badge, let's discuss the Discord Nitro Subscriber Badge. This badge is straightforward to acquire. Simply subscribe to Discord Nitro. Whether you purchase Nitro yourself, receive it as a gift, or subscribe to Nitro Basic, having an active subscription grants you this badge. It appears as a small icon on your profile. While this badge doesn't offer functional benefits, it serves as a visual indicator of your support for Discord through a Nitro subscription. Now, let's talk about another popular badge, the Server Booster Badge. This badge is obtained by boosting a Discord server. Boosting involves contributing extra resources to a server, which can enhance its functionality and appearance for all members. When you boost a server, you initially receive a badge with a small triangle icon. Over time, as you continue boosting, this icon upgrades to a shiny diamond. However, it's important to note that if you stop boosting, any progress towards further badge upgrades is lost, and your booster status resets to the initial level if you resume. This reset occurs because the badge is meant to reflect ongoing support, and discontinuing that support resets your contribution level. Like before, this Discord Server Booster badge mainly serves as a visual enhancement to your profile, symbolizing your contributions and engagement with the Discord community. They are symbols of your ongoing support and participation within the platform. Continuing, we are now focusing on the Active Developer badge. This badge is attainable for those who actively engage in bot development within Discord. To begin, you need to create a new application in the Discord Developer Portal. Start by visiting the Discord Developer Portal linked in the video description. On this page, navigate to the Developer section of Discord where you can manage and create new applications. Begin by creating a new application. Click on Create New Application. Name your application anything you desire. It's just a label to identify your app within the portal. With that done, it's time to set up your bot. Move to the Bot tab within your application settings. Here, you'll need to enable necessary permissions for your bot under Privileged Gateway Intents. These settings determine what your bot can access and do within a server. Next, generate a bot token. This token is crucial as it acts as the password for your bot to interact with Discord servers. Be cautious with this token. Do not share it publicly, as it could compromise your bot. After generating the token, ensure you save it securely. Moving on, head over to botghost.com to create the bot for free. Authorize your Discord account and paste your bot token here you just created in Discord's developer portal. Now, create a new server or use an existing one to deploy your bot. In Discord, create a new server by selecting Create My Own and follow the prompts to set it up. After creating or selecting a server, use the bot's invite link to add it to the server. For the active developer badge, your bot must execute a command within the server. 
This can be any custom slash command you've set up in your bot's code. Once the command runs, Discord recognizes your active engagement as a developer. After running a slash command, you can claim your badge through the developer portal. There might be a 24-hour waiting period if it's the first time your bot has executed a command. As seen here, this badge is quite straightforward to obtain if you're engaged in developing and maintaining Discord bots. It not only represents your contributions, but also enhances your credibility with the Discord development community. Now, let's explore a more exclusive badge with the Discord community, the Early Verified Bots Developer Badge. This badge represents a significant milestone in the history of Discord bot development. Originally known as the Verified Bot Developer Badge, it was awarded to developers whose bots passed Discord's verification process. Verification was crucial to ensure that bots added to Discord servers were safe and performed expected functions, a measure against spam or harmful bots. However, due to an influx of fraudulent submissions by individuals seeking the badge for prestige rather than the actual bot development, referred to as badge goblins, the verification process became overwhelmed. This influx hindered the review and approval of legitimate bots. As a result, Discord rebranded the badge as the Early Verified Developer Badge and closed off issuance to new submissions post that date. This means the Early Verified Bot Developer Badge is now a relic. It is no longer obtainable for new developers. Only those who had their bots verified before the cutoff date possessed this badge, making it a rare and prized symbol within the Discord community. Let's delve into another exclusive badge on Discord, the Partnered Server Owner Badge. This badge is not only a mark of recognition, but also comes with several perks, making it a coveted achievement for Discord server owners. To qualify for the Partnered Server Owner Badge, your server must meet specific criteria. First is the server safety and cleanliness. Your server should be well moderated, free of harmful content and safe for members. Second is the membership requirements. Your server must have at least 500 members. Third is the server age. Your server needs to be at least eight weeks old. Fourth is the active level. There is an activity requirement that the server must meet though these specifications can vary. Fifth is the language and conduct criteria. Your server should maintain a high standard of language, free from profanity. Sixth and lastly is the two-factor authentication requirement. Your account must have two-factor authentication enabled to ensure security. Once your server meets these requirements, you can apply for Discord partnership. However, it's important to note that achieving partnership is challenging. Discord tends to select unique communities that stand out among a plethora of servers, so commonly themed servers may face difficulty in getting approved. The benefits of receiving the Partnered Server Owner Badge include free Discord Nitro, which provides your account with additional features, and server boosts and exclusive partner perks which include access to a partner-only server, where you can test new features early, receive free merchandise like hoodies, and have the option to purchase exclusive merchandise for your server staff. Continuing our exploration of Discord badges, let's look at the Early Supporter Badge, a rare token of recognition for those who have been part of the Discord community from the early days. To get Discord's Early Supporter Badge, you first need to fulfill its eligibility. To receive this badge, you'll need to have purchased Discord Nitro before October 2018. As you may have guessed now, it is no longer available for new users. Another extremely rare badge is the Hype Squad Events Badge. This badge was awarded to those who actively participated in or organized Discord's Hype Squad events. The badge is currently unobtainable as the program for these events is not active and applications are closed. While the badge itself doesn't give you any special abilities or features within Discord, being part of the Hype Squad events team came with its benefits, such as access to a secret server, exclusive Discord merchandise like shirts and other swag that could be distributed at events. Next, we'll check out the Discord Certified Moderator Badge, which was awarded to a select group of community moderators. Initially, to earn this badge, participants had to engage in a comprehensive learning process. This included reading numerous articles and completing a rigorous exam through what was known as the Discord Moderator Academy. Success in the exam led to an invitation to a specific Discord server. 
where continued activity over several months was monitored before the badge was awarded. This badge has since evolved into what is now called the Moderator Program Alumni Badge. As part of the transition, the original means of acquiring the badge through the Academy and its associated exam are no longer available. The primary perk of this badge was access to an exclusive Discord server dedicated to moderators. It provided a space for discussion and further education on moderation within Discord. In this guide to Discord badges, let's talk about the Bug Hunter Badge, a distinctive recognition for users who actively contribute to improving Discord by identifying and reporting software bugs. To potentially earn this badge, participants needed to join the Discord tester server that employ a level system for bug reporting. Level 1 is available to everyone. Level 2 requires you to pass a bug hunter quiz. Level 3 is granted after reporting a certain number of bugs to advance. Level 4 is achieved after you demonstrate the proper use of an approval queue for validating reported bugs. While the badge is still technically obtainable, the original Discord tester server and its system are no longer in operation as they once were. This makes acquiring the badge considerably more challenging. As we wrap up this tutorial on Discord badges, let's take a look at two very distinct and prestigious badges within the Discord community. The Discord Staff Badge and the extremely rare Golden Bug Hunter Badge. To get the Discord Staff Badge, the simplest yet most exclusive way to obtain this badge is by being an employee of Discord. It's given to Discord staff members as a symbol of their official status on the platform. The perks involve staff members receiving complimentary Discord Nitro for their accounts. Additionally, they also have the option to hide this badge from their profile, which can be useful for privacy or to avoid unwanted attention. As far as the Golden Bug Hunter badge is concerned, this badge is a step above the standard Bug Hunter badge and is awarded under very stringent conditions. To be eligible, you have to reach what is historically known as Level 5 in the Bug Hunter program. This involves actively reporting bugs over a 6-month period. Having a significant number of these bugs approved or contributing in specialized focus testing sessions. With fewer than 50 recipients, the Golden Bug Hunter badge is one of the rarest on Discord. Like its silver counterpart, this badge doesn't offer any direct functional perks, but it does grant significant prestige within the community. Holders of this badge often receive considerable attention and inquiries about how they obtained it, which can be both a privilege and a burden. I hope this helped you out in understanding the array of Discord badges and how to potentially earn them.